Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at the unit test package in Python and it's this package from which the Django testing utilities are built on top of. So this is unit test and it's part of the Python standard library. So it's important to understand the basics of this module before we dive into Django itself. Now the unit test, unit testing framework was originally inspired by JUnit and that's a testing framework in Java. And this has a similar flavor as major unit testing frameworks in other languages. And it supports test automation as well as sharing of setup and shutdown code for tests. And you can also aggregate tests into collections and you can report on these tests in different ways with different reporting frameworks. Now to achieve this, unit test supports some important concepts in an object oriented way. So this unit test package in Python provides object oriented concepts for writing and running tests. Now you have things like the test fixture, which represents the preparation that you need to perform one or more tests, as well as associated cleanup actions. We also have the test case, and that's the individual unit of testing, and it's going to check for a specific response to a particular set of inputs. And importantly, unit test provides a base class, and that's the test case class, and that can be used to create new test cases. We also have the concept of a test suite, and that's a collection of tests that can be run together, and a test runner. Now the runner is a component that orchestrates the execution of tests and it provides the outcome to the user. Now we're gonna write some code in a second and we're gonna create a subclass of this test case, but I just want to quickly reference the Django documentation on writing and running tests. We're gonna cover this much more later on, but if you look at the quick section here on writing tests, you can see that what we do is we import a test case class from the Django.test module. Now this here is actually a subclass of the unit test test case class that we're about to look at in a second. So Django is going to subclass unit test dot test case and it's gonna add some important Django specific functionality on top of that base class. So I just wanted to note that right from the beginning of this series, we have a test case class in unit test and that's the foundation for Django testing and Django itself will subclass that test case class and it provides its own utilities on top of it. So let's get back to the unit test documentation. Now, if you look at the table of contents here, I'm gonna to go to the basic example that's provided in this documentation, and we can see how to construct a test class here. So what we do is we import unit test, and then we create our own class. In this case, it's called test string methods, and that is gonna subclass the unit test dot test case class. So this is taking advantage of object inheritance and object oriented programming. And the test case class, that's what you're going to subclass or extend when you define your own classes. And these classes contain methods and the methods are the actual test cases. And what these methods do is they optionally take some kind of input. And what they're going to do is make some assertions about the state of the program, given those inputs or given a set of conditions. So the unit test dot test case class, it provides a variety of assertion methods that you can use, such as assert equal. And assert equal is gonna take two arguments as you can see here. And basically it's gonna check that those two arguments are equal. So if we take the lowercase string foo and we use the dot upper function, which is a string function in Python, we should get this capitalized version of foo. So the assert equal method here on the test case is gonna check for that and that's gonna evaluate to true. And when these assertions within a method evaluate to true, your test case has passed. And if all of your tests pass, then your entire test suite is gonna pass. And that's what you're aiming for as a programmer. And you can see some other methods as well as assert equal. The test case provides assert true and assert false methods, as well as some different methods here at the bottom. Assert raises is gonna check for a particular exception or error. So we have a variety of assertion methods that we can use inside a test case subclass. So with that introduction out the way, what we're gonna do is go to Visual Studio Code. So I have a file here called app.py and what I'm gonna do at the bottom is go to the Visual Studio Code integrated terminal. And in order to follow along with this and write your own classes and test them in Python, you need to have Python installed on your operating system. So what I've got here on a Mac is Python 3 and I've got version 3.11. So in order to follow along, you need to have some kind of Python version on your system. So what we're gonna do now is write this superhero class that I'm gonna define here in app.py. And let's define a dunder init method. Now we want the superhero to take two arguments and store them as instance variables on the class. So let's give the superhero a name and I'm also gonna pass in a strength level that we're gonna test in a second. 
And then we can store these as instance variables by using self.name here and setting it equal to what's passed into Dunder init. And we can do the same for the strength level. Now I want to define two very simple methods on this class. The first one is a Dunder string method, and this should return the string representation of the superhero. And we're just going to return the name in that case. I want to also return another method here, and that's going to be called is stronger than. And this method is going to take another superhero object. So let's call it other hero as a parameter. And we want this to return a Boolean condition. So what we're going to return here is we're going to check self.strength level. And we want to check is that greater than the other hero's strength level. So other hero.strength level will be the comparison here. So if we call this method on a superhero, the instance's strength level is going to be compared to the other hero. And if the instance has a greater strength level, it's going to return true. Otherwise, it's going to return false. So that's a very simple superhero class. We're now going to write some tests for that. And I want to create a file here called tests.py, which is conventional in most Python applications. Your files containing tests will typically be separated from the application code. Now, what we're going to do here is test some of the features of the superhero. For example, the Dunder string method, we want to test that that returns what we expect it to. And we also want to test the is stronger than method as well. So let's go back to tests.py. And it's in this file where we're going to need to import the unit test module from the Python standard library. And from the app, I also want to import the superhero object as well. Now, like we saw in the documentation, in order to create a test, you create a class here. And I'm going to call this class test superhero. And that's going to inherit from unit test dot test case. And we can then write methods on the class. So for example, to test the Dunder string method, I'm going to create a method here called test stringify. And let's create a superhero within the test. So I'm going to instantiate the superhero object and let's give it a name of, let's say, Superman. And we'll give it a strength level of 50. So what we're doing here is we're creating an instance of the superhero and we're passing the two bits of data that are expected in the Dunder init method. And then what we're going to do is check that the Dunder string method of this superhero returns the name. That's what we expect because if we look at Dunder string, it returns self.name. And in this case, we're passing a name of Superman. So because we are in a test case subclass, we have access to an assert equal method. And here we're going to convert the superhero that we created on the line above to a string. And we're going to check that that's equal to Superman, which is what we passed in here as the name. Now, in order to run this test, let's go back to the command line and we're going to run Python 3 and we're going to invoke the unit test module. And we can pass a link to tests.py and that's going to run the tests that are found or discovered within that file. So let's run this and we get one test and it returns OK. Now, I want to write another test here now that we've got this one to check that the is stronger than method is going to work as expected. So let's go back to tests.py and define a second method in this test case subclass. Now, one thing about test methods is that they often have verbose names. They often have long names that very clearly indicate what you're testing. So we're going to create a method here called test is stronger than other superhero. So it's quite a verbose name, but it tells you exactly what the test is going to do. And I'm going to copy this line here on line eight, and we're going to paste that in here. So we have a superhero and we're going to create another superhero below. So let's paste it again. And I'm going to create a variable here called other superhero. And let's change the name here from Superman and the second one, let's just call it Batman. And we'll give it a strength level here of 35. Now, if we look at these two, the superhero called Superman has a greater strength level than Batman in this case. So if we go back to app.py, is stronger than, if we call that on the Superman instance, we expect that to return true. Otherwise, if we call it on the other superhero, we expect it to return false. So let's make some assertions about this just now. I'm going to use the assert true method. So again, that's different from assert equal. In this case, assert true is going to return true if indeed the condition evaluates to true. And we want to assert here that superhero dot is stronger than other superhero is going to evaluate to true. And that's because the superhero has a strength level of 50 and the other one has 35. So is stronger than is going to evaluate to true here. And I'm going to copy this line of code to the line below. And what we're going to do here is we're going to switch this round. So I'm going to take the other superhero and we're going to call is stronger than on the other superhero instance. And we're going to make sure that this returns false when we compare the other superhero to the superhero. So let's change the assertion method to assert false. And I'm going to close the sidebar and let's just have a look at this. So we have a superhero here with a strength level of 50 and a name of Superman. And the second superhero has a strength level of 35. 
We're calling assert true when we take the superhero instance and call its is stronger than method and pass the other superhero into that. We expect that to be true, but on the other hand, if we flip that round, when we call is stronger than on the other superhero instance, we expect that to return false when we compare the other superhero to the superhero that has a greater strength level. Now I want to test this out again. We have another test method now. So at the bottom, let's run our unit test test.py command. And now we've run two tests and you can see they are both passing. Now we can change the expected output here to see what happens when a test fails. So for example, when we call assert equal here, if I pass in superman2, that's not the name we're passing into the instance. So we expect this to fail now. Let's run the command and you can see we now get an assertion error. Superman is not equal to Superman2. So in this case, we've got a failing test, but I've introduced that deliberately just to show what happens when we do have that failure. So we've now written a test class to test the superhero logic that we have in our superhero class. What we want to do now is just finish the video by showing an example of using what's called a setup method within the test case. Now, the reason that you might want to use a setup method is to consolidate logic that is shared between different test methods. So for example, here we have a superhero and you can see that we are instantiating this superhero on line eight within test stringify, but also in the second test that we have here on line 12. Now I'm gonna go back to the unit test documentation and on the left hand side, there's a section on organizing test code. And all of these concepts apply to Django test classes as well. Now I'm gonna scroll down here and we're gonna look at what's called a setup method. So you can factor out setup code by implementing a method called setup and the testing framework will automatically call that for every single test that's run within that class. Now we're gonna do that just now, just to factor out some of the code. So within the test case class, what I'm gonna do is create a setup method here and that takes self as a parameter because it's a method. And then what I'm gonna do is copy this line of code for the superhero. Let's cut it out of here. And we're gonna define self.superhero now and set it equal to that instance there. And I've got a duplicated equal sign here, so we can just remove that now. So self.superhero is what we want to test. And then what we can do is just reference that now within test stringify. So we factored that out into its own setup method. And that means we can also get rid of this here on line 14. So I'm gonna cut out the superhero and any references to that we can now replace with self.superhero instead. So if we do that and save this file, what we've basically done here is just created a setup method and that's gonna be run before every single test. So when it runs test stringify, it's gonna create the superhero. And then when it runs the second test method, it's going to recreate self.superhero in the class. This is run before every single method. Now, if we save this and go back to the terminal and run unit test on the command line, what I'm gonna do is run python3-m unit tests test.py and you can see that's run those two tests and it's passing those tests. So all is well within this test code. We now have a setup method which you can add to your test case subclasses and there's also an equivalent teardown method as well. So if you need to perform any cleanup after your tests, for example, deleting temporary files and so on, you can also do that in an object oriented manner as well. Now the setup class, as I said, you're gonna use these in Django test case subclasses as well. So I just want to introduce these because the concepts themselves come from the unit test module within the Python standard library. So now that we've written our first test in Python using unit test, what we're gonna do is move on in the next video of the series and we're gonna look at Django's testing capabilities. It's gonna be a first look at Django. So we're gonna set up a project and look at some of the utilities that Django provides out of the box for testing your applications.